The future of a traffic circle which used to hold the Robert E. Lee statue is coming into focus. Thanks for watching it News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albert and crews were seen clearing the space to make way for the city's landscape plan. 8 News reporter Nicole Dansler is live in Richmond with a closer look at the work they're doing. Nicole. Yeah, Eric, Dan, and today crews were spotted working on the grass and the dirt in the traffic circle here behind me on Monument and North Allen Avenues. Crews are putting on their hard hats and picking up their shovels, making space for what will fill the traffic circle, which used to hold the Robert E. Lee statue. You can see in this drone video of Monument and North Allen Avenues where workers had a wheelbarrow and a tractor dumping dirt onto a trailer. The work is part of Richmond's temporary plan to plant foliage there. It's something Steve Knuckles thinks will truly highlight his neighborhood. We are one of the most welcoming streets in probably in America. In a newsletter from City Council Member Catherine Jordan, the Department of Public Works and contractors will be installing new irrigation and electrical systems, as well as $100,000 worth of plants. The city's planning commission adopted this temporary landscape plan back in October after some controversy over what it should look like. Some people say they wanted the circle to include a gathering space for the community. However, Knuckles says the traffic circle is too busy for a space like that. It's a very dangerous traffic circle, one of the worst in the city. It is not a pedestrian and, you know, it's not a meeting space, it's not a, you know, a town square. This as city leaders continue working on the long-term plan to permanently transform the historic street. We all want, you know, to be a destination for people to come to, and, and so that's kind of how I think the sentiment of people who live here. I've reached out to the Department of Public Works for more about this project and I have not heard back just yet, but city leaders say that the Jersey barriers and the fencing around the circle should come down by later this spring. For now, live in Richmond, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.